Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sarge. Today we are diving in with the Odin and this is a response to a lot of you guys in the comments who've been leaving me suggestions on weapons to run or certain challenges and the Odin has been a hot topic in the comment section for a couple weeks now and uh, we're going to be finally running this weapon. I haven't touched this one in a couple months, actually. It's been a quite some time, uh, but I have run Odin or a challenge with the Odin before. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different with that today, and the challenge today is basically dropping hot, but then not really moving. You can't move, so basically wherever I land, I just have to stand there and fight for my life, and that is going to be a very difficult challenge because I'm going to be exposed, um, I'm going to be dropping in spots that are just out in the open so that I can actually pick off my targets instead of actually dropping in an area that has cover. Um, so I want to be out in the open. I want to be in areas that are very contested. So Superstore, Storage Town, that's going to be your typical hot drop, or at least in today's video. But as far as the attachments, I'm using the Return to Dust blueprint and then customizing it with uh, the Long Barrel, the Odin Factory 810 millimeter. That's huge. Then the Colossus Suppressor, which is even much uh, larger than the Mono Suppressor, even has more damage and accuracy or range and accuracy. Um, and then everything else is pretty much your standard go-to. Underbarrel, Ranger Foregrip to maximize even more range. Um, this is going to be a very slow weapon to scope in with because of these attachments. Um, and then the VLK Optic with the 30 round mag. Uh, so that's something to consider. I was thinking about trying to swap in a attack laser to give it a little bit more ADS, but we're going to be playing more of a traditional defense role uh, because we're not moving in the map. And uh, I'm going to pair this bad boy up with the uh, FFAR. And uh, for those who aren't aware, the agency suppressor did get fixed finally. So now that is going to be the attachment you're going to run on most of your Black Ops weapons, if not all of them. Um, I am experimenting a lot more with the stocks this time around. Um, so I am using the CQB pad for most of my endgame meta builds, uh, or at least experimenting with it for the endgame meta builds. Uh, as far as a barrel, Ranger is your go-to, but I am also exploring the reinforced heavy to give it a little bit more damage, or, uh, you know, uh, an edge in those CQB engagements because Primarily, FFAR is being used more as an SMG rather than a traditional AR, even though you can use it as an AR. It has become the next MP5, meaning everyone is running it with their builds. So <clears throat> you'll get to see how it kind of handles in the situations that I'm in. But for today's challenge, very difficult. Um, not recommended, but we're going to see what happens. So enjoy it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Watch the sky! Enemy dropping into the 
coming. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Enemy UAV overhead. Watch the skies!